Hey, your signs, it's Angela with Mystic Moon. Welcome to your August 2020 reading. We're gonna be reading for the signs of Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. This is gonna be on your soul connection with another person. And everything that I'm using here on the table will be listed in the description box below. Let's get into the reading. What is the most important thing Spirit wants you to know about this soul connection in the month of August 2020? Let's get three cards. We have Cycles. We have Inner Child. And we have separation. So you and this person may be in a separation. It may be the healing or the issues that have cycled through perhaps throughout this separation. Let's get some clarifiers here on that cycles. We have the eight of wands. I feel like something is about ready to be cycled out in this eighth month, which is August. So there could be an energy surge. There could be a new cycle that's developing or even perhaps some communication that comes in August with this connection. So let's go ahead and get some advice. Ooh, and you're getting signs about this, you guys. So this is telling you here that you've been getting signs from above or just even some angelic communication from your guides that there is some sort of movement or communication or activity that's coming up in this month. Something is about ready to cycle through or something is about ready to shift and change in this connection. So we have inner child. Maybe there was some wounds that needed addressing or needed to be healed during this period of separation. Yeah. Hello, Four of Swords, healing and recovery. That's exactly what I'm getting here. So somebody needed time and space in order to heal and to recover on their own in isolation perhaps or in separation, see? So there's that, let's get some advice on that. We have a quality, um, without even reading the heart first, it's like, so that way both people could be on an equal playing field. Both people were um, you know, more balanced for the connection, maybe before it wasn't. It says, if someone cannot reciprocate my same efforts, I do not continue to try harder. I take it as a sign that we may not be on the same page at this time. So I feel like you guys were not on the same page as someone else before. So someone took the time to pull away, go into separation in order to heal these things so that way you guys can move forward in a more positive way. I feel like there's some sort of change that's coming from all of this separation. And it could be that uh, you're a divine feminine watching this video or you're a masculine and this is about, you know, really being in a healthier version of yourself. I feel like this is for divine feminine though. The divine feminine has found herself. The divine feminine has done a lot of work and a lot of healing. She feels really good. The separation has actually done her good is what I'm getting here. Oh, because she now has boundaries. Look at this. She's the strongest that she's ever been in her entire journey. See? So this was absolutely necessary for this divine feminine to get to this point where now she has very healthy boundaries and she couldn't have gotten here without going through whatever it is that she has gone through here. Wow. So that is what spirit wants to bring up for the month of August. Most important thing. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if there's going to be any challenges or fears that you might face. Okay, so we have endings, rebirth, and resurrection. Some of you guys might be fearing this resurrection of this connection or maybe this even just what is this new energy going to look like? We have the queen of wands. Well, I'm going to tell you right now what this energy looks like is it looks badass. You're the queen of wands. I mean, that's like the ultimate divine feminine to me. This is somebody who has healthy boundaries. She doesn't chase after anything. She just basically sits back and she just is who she is and things that are meant for her come to her. So I'm gonna tell you right now, you guys have nothing to be afraid of. This resurrection, this rebirth is going to be going in your favor. So that is fan freaking tastic. What else? <laughs> we have jack-o'-lantern. Oh my God. So these are really cool cards because this is saying here that you've stepped into the light. You've trusted your guidance. You've read all the signs correctly. Now you're warding off evil. You've got this penetration. See, she's got like this arrow here. She's ready to get rid of anything that doesn't serve her. She's not attracting low vibrational anymore. No, no. She's attracting high vibrational energy. Absolutely. Yep, she's stepping away from anything that doesn't serve her. She has separated herself with six of swords, stepped away from anything that is not in her vibration, you guys. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty fantastic. All right, last one. Body snatchers. She's no longer going to be overpowered by anything uh, -uh, because she's standing strong in her light. That's why. And so when you're really standing strong and secure in your light, and connected to your higher self, 
it's almost impossible for anything dark outside of you to overpower you any longer. It's beautiful. And we have the Hierophant. Why? Because your faith is strong. Because your connection to spirit is strong. Because you've done the work. You've dedicated yourself on the spiritual path of ascension. And yes, it's been a freaking roller coaster ride, but you got off the ride. Maybe you were tired of throwing up on that ride. I don't know. But whatever this is, this is good, you guys. So your challenges and fears this month, you've overcome them. That's amazing. And that's probably why you're getting what you want moving forward. So let's go ahead and see um, what is the advice moving forward from Spirit. Upcoming energies. We have Outsider, Mischief, Loner, Wanderer. I think this is a really positive card as a matter of fact. You're not afraid to be alone. You're definitely not afraid to be alone. You're just going by the, the, the uh, beat of your own drums. You've got many options. Look at you. Whatever you want to do, it's yours. See, look at that. Look at that guy. He's just sitting there and he's looking in the window. What do I want? So you've got many choices. You can choose whatever it is that you want. This life is yours. You're no longer overpowered by fear or your desires for another person as in connected in an unhealthy way. You're in this positive energy, queen of wands. What do I want? I will get it. We have, oh my gosh, another card, resurrection. It's the second time that it's been in your reading. That's really cool. Reprise, recovery, and come back. Look at that. So that right there is just telling you, you're back. Look, 22 and 44, you guys, there are significant numbers that are popping up here for you. That's really amazing. So let's get a tarot on this. Sorry, these are newer decks, so they're a little harder to pull the cards. Oh my God. <laughs> this is about king status, mastery, of your feminine and masculine energies within yourself. I'm also getting you guys that if you're a feminine watching this video because you have stepped into your power as a divine feminine, you are now bringing forth that ultimate divine masculine. That masculine is coming back. Whew, that's not to give anybody false hope, but this is gonna resonate for somebody out there. Let me tell you. All right, you guys. Last message, we have sacrifice and you know what? That's the thing. You might have felt like a sacrificial lamb this entire time, but you realized that you had to let go. You had to finally get to a position within yourself that you let go of A, what was no longer serving you and B, even perhaps this person in order for it to become resurrected and more improved, like more improved and healthier than it was before. All of this separation, all of the sacrifice has been leading towards something better. Wow. And let's get it. The last message, six of swords. It's another dupe card, two six of swords, you guys, and two cards that said resurrection. This is the pathway forward. You're going towards calmer waters. You have finally made it to the other side on this journey. You have finally understood and have obtained the wisdom that you've been looking for this entire time. It's smooth sailing moving forward. Congratulations, you guys. This is amazing. So I hope that you guys resonated with those messages. If you didn't, no worries. You guys can always watch the other signs as well. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.